Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> There's a ring going on. Guys, can you hear me okay? Uh, we'll start with uh, an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll go to questions. Um, you know, first of all, I want to thank all of our fans. Um, <laughs> you'd have thought uh, we, we were in Bram. It, it has been purple and lavender everywhere around this resort. Um, our, our un unbelievable job by them. We, we, they definitely gave us an advantage out there and, and so thankful for their support. Um, this, uh, we told our team before the game started, This they're, they're an NCAA tournament team. Uh, from last year, they're an NCAA tournament team. This year, they returned a lot of players with a lot of minutes, and um, so th this was a big one, man. This is, this showed a lot of growth uh, from the first game against USC, and uh, thought thought uh, we did a lot of really good things. Um, still got a lot of room to improve, uh, but thankful that we'll be able to learn uh, from a win. Uh, first question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, hey, Jerome, congrats on the win. Um, real quick, what, why do you think you guys uh, are just so cool and collected in overtime? 5-0 last season, didn't seem to show any nerves tonight. Why do you think you guys thrive there? Um, you know, we work on it every day. Uh, every single day we work on end-of-game situations and and play, um, actually play five minutes every day, call it five to grind, and uh, how we want to play and uh, what goes into winning those close games. and. And then when you have a uh, staff, you know, with uh, Yurik Malagi and uh, Rodney Perry and, and those guys who are really seeing how we can take advantage of things offensively and what we need to do defensively and making those adjustments, um, you know, we we have we really have an advantage with those guys on our bench. And uh, what do you think uh, Arthur did tonight that, uh, you know, allowed him to score the way he did? I, I, I thought, um, I, th I think Art's buy-in was coming around and uh you know we, we if we play the right way and as a team um everybody's gonna get their opportunity and tonight was art's opportunity took advantage of it all right thanks congrats again thanks Kels. uh next question to tim everson hey coach congrats um really physical game. How, how do you feel like this is probably the most physical test that this, these guys have gotten so far this season? How, how do you feel like they handled that? No, it was a point of emphasis going in. That we knew we would, on offense, we had to compete uh, to get open. And on defense, we had to compete to keep them out the paint. And I mean, they, they're a really good team. And I, I was very pleased that we were able not only to mat, match their physicality, but I thought we exceeded at times. And um, had them back on their heels. So I was very pleased with that. And then everyone says it comes down to the little things. Free throws were became very big here. Obviously, Tyler hit all, all of those. Um, how, how big was Tyler today? Yeah, well, I mean, he's a 90% uh, free throw shooter. Um, blessed last year with Marquise in the last, you know, I think two minutes of a game. I don't know if Marquise Noel missed a free throw. And Tyler Perry is very similar in that that makeup that he wants the ball, he wants it in those situations, and so um, he he had some really good plays where he made passes to guys too late in the game. Uh, shows like his point guard mindset is really uh, developing, and um, we got a long way to go, but I, I I love his growth that's taking place. And then and then from the dust up there at the end, it, it didn't seem like Day Day was instigating anything there. Is he going to be all good to go for Sunday? Uh, I don't know. There's going to be um, the referees deemed it a fight between two players. So I know there's some kind of a big 12 rule on that. So we're waiting to hear on it. Um, but this will be a great uh, learning experience for Day Day that regardless of what's said or done, that we can't ever throw a punch and um, and the camera catches everything. And and so, um, you know, this is part of the maturing process. Uh, but, but Day Day was really good tonight, you know, up until that point. Thanks, Coach.
Other questions for Coach? Um, it turned out, I think on your part, but I was interested that McNair didn't start in the overtime was on played a big role on. So is that just matchup things or what made you think of that decision? Or McNair played pretty well. Yeah, um, both of those guys give us something a little different at different times and the, the, the matchup at the end. Um, you know, we, we thought that because the way they were going to guard us would open up some things that Dave does a little bit better than Will. And uh, I, I was just so thankful both of those guys uh, bought into what we needed them to do and, and did it with great energy and, and passion and, and cheered for each other. Right call. Right call. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next question to Karen Kornacki off of Zoom. Coach, can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. I haven't had the privilege to meet you, and one day it will happen. But um, two questions. First of all, how do you blend players so well? Last year, I was so amazed at what you did with no roster, then putting a roster together, getting as far as you did. And now here you are again after your trip to Israel. And then, you know, working with this team and having a big win like tonight, how do you blend them together and get them to play together so quickly? Um, well, I, I can't personally take credit for that. Um, a lot of this has to do with our staff and we recruit the right guys, the right kind of guys that fit who we are and what we're about. Um, you know, we have every guy on our team has played in the NCAA tournament. And uh, we have, I think, eight state championships on our team. And the, the only, well, I'm sorry, there's only one player who hasn't played in the NCAA tournament, and that's uh, um, Tyler Perry. And, you know, he won an NIT championship and a JUCO national championship. So when, when you've won the last game and, and you know, had success winning, you understand that there's a sacrifice that has to take place. And, and those kind of guys have a certain level of character that uh, allows them to be molded. And, uh, you know, our whole staff does an unbelievable job of, of pouring into our guys. Um, you know, Dream, uh, Coach Dowling today, you know, just talked to them about special people investing and um, how how it benefits our lives when we invest in other people. And so these guys really buy into investing in each other and um, just just wanting to be part of something special that's bigger than themselves. And so so the credit goes to our staff and, and the type of players that we recruit. And what about your next game? You play 12th ranked Miami. Some of the... <laughs> Some of the, I mean, that's your big prize. Um, uh, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to celebrate this win tonight, and uh, <laughs> and then we're going to figure out about Miami tomorrow. And uh, But but tonight, we're going to be thankful for the win and, and really enjoy it, and then we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. Thank you, Coach. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, too. Arnie, uh, we'll take uh, last question for Coach Arnie Green. Arnie's on mute. Arnie, you're on mute, buddy. Arnie. Yeah. Arnie, are you there? He's there. <laughs> I can barely hear you, Arnie. Uh, we got to go sign language. <laughs> Coach, we'll uh, stop there and we'll pick up with Arnie another time. Thank you, Coach. We appreciate your time. All right. Thanks a lot. Go Cats. No, you snooze, you lose, man. It's only one of us, I think. Oh, one at a time. Is it one at a time, or is there? Now we can do both. Yeah. Bring a chair in the, in the screen here. <laughs> Y'all are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have uh, Tyler Perry and Arthur Cluma. Uh, one thing before we get to start. Uh, Tyler's 14 of 14 from the free throw line ties for the third best free throw percentage in school history. 
and uh, K State is six and zero in overtime games under Jerome Tang. So we'll uh, get questions for these guys. Go ahead, Tim. Arthur, congrats on the win tonight. Um, can you just kind of talk about go coach? Whenever we asked him about a week or a week or so ago, um, he mentioned your your buy in, and, and tonight he said you you really bought in. Um, what what has that process been like for you? Uh, well, man, coming into a new program, uh, you know it could be difficult to you know just really find like your way right away. But uh, I feel like as time's gone on, you know I've gotten comfortable in like what they need me to do as a player in order for us to be successful. And, man, I just want to thank Coach Tang and the staff for, you know, preparing me for the offense. And, uh, yeah, no, I feel like I'm completely bought in. And then, Tyler, um, in, 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 in overtime games like these, how much can that kind of continue to kind of build team chemistry and cohesion to kind of go through a, a battle of a game like this that's just so physical? Uh, we've all heard stories about the 12, um, <clears throat> how physical and how grueling it's going to be. Those uh, 16, 18 games, however many we play. So, you know, having games like this early in the preseason is, is, is so good for us. And, you know, we take it – we do this every day. We call it five to grind. And so, um, you know, we we prepared each other for these moments. And um, I think it's preparing us for later in the season. Thanks, guys. Congrats again. Thank you. Next question for Kellis Robinette. Yeah, hey, Tyler, uh, congrats. But um, I got to say, coming in, I think a lot of us focus mostly on your three-point shooting. But it looks like you're even better from the free throw line. Talk to me about that. Where does that come from? <clears throat> Just staying poised. Uh, I love those type of moments. I love being at the end of the game with the ball in my hand um, and going to the free throw line as much as I can. And um, if I don't have the ball at the end, uh, y'all don't even want to know what Coach Tang says to me. but. Uh, <laughs> Um, the biggest thing, you know, is just staying poised in those moments. And if I don't get rattled, the rest of us won't get rattled. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I just wanted to get to the line and ice the game. And, um, you know, I did. I think I did a good job of doing that tonight. Yeah, and Arthur, I want to ask you about that three-pointer you made in overtime. Walk me through that and how good did that feel? Uh, Yeah, no, that I felt like that was a big shot. Uh, it was just coming down in transition. And I noticed they weren't set on defense properly. And – my man left for just a quick second. Uh, I saw a pass to the rim, and I was like, I've been hot so far. Why not take it? But uh, shout out to Day Day for making a great pass and, you know, finding me while I was open. And then really did, did today in general, was it a confidence boost for you? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it was a definite confidence boost. I mean, I feel like I've been playing mediocre so far, but I honestly, like, it's all thanks to my teammates, you know. It's all thanks to the coaching staff. And so I feel like they everybody's prepared me for this moment, and I couldn't have been able to step up in the way that I did if, like, I didn't have a great point guard like TP or, like, teammates. Like, Taj Manning pushing me uh, in our practice facility. It's just, like, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. It's just you guys get to see it on the court. All right. Thanks, guys. Arnie, you want to try a question now? I don't know if you got your audio issue problem resolved. <coughs> Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, for either of you guys, it seems like uh, it seems like Will is kind of the kind of your your, your starter. He, he's kind of get gotten you going in a couple. Games, just, just what do you like about what he brings? I mean, he's energy. I mean, Will is just a big bundle of energy. In practice, you know, he's always going hard. You know, he's always encouraging his teammates, and he's always loud. You know, you hear his voice in the gym almost all the time. So, I mean, he's a great player at the end of the day. You know, that's a great piece for us on the, for the team. Yeah, just a huge body down there. And like he said, uh, Art said, um, the best thing about him is what he brings off the court. And uh, the energy he brings to the team, he's always smiling and laughing. And, um, you know, he carouses. And so just to have a vet like that, um, you know, it's always a plus on your team. Awesome. Thanks, guys. 
Okay, we'll end it there for K-State's portion so we can move along. Appreciate everybody.